What's up guys and welcome back to Little Big Planet PSP and today we're going to be moving into the second world of the game, the second creator, curator, curator, creator, whatever, one of, however order it goes, you know, I don't. You'll probably correct me in the comments because I'm a dingus, but either way, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head out of here and go ahead and start it. I think we're moving over to China now. We are at Down Under by the Mystic. Now let's see what's gonna go on over here. Oh, I thought Steve was gonna say something. I guess not. The Orient by Emperor Sario, and I hope I pronounced all that right. I mean, I'm pretty sure I pronounced the Orient right, but I'm not sure about Sario. I hope that's right, but either way, let's go ahead and head on in. Oh yeah, I guess that's it. All right then, Mortardo by Emperor Sario. Hey, that rhymes, pretty cool. Hello. You are, you have a large head, I will not deny. He looks very angry. I'm Wait, are his eyes closed or are those like really big mean eyebrows? Does he not have a mouth? He has a weird design. Hi, I am Emperor Sario. A nasty dragon is attacking the land and destroying things. Help me to defeat the dragon and I will accompany you to the carnival of creators. He already knew why we were here. I mean, he just sort of assumed. First thing is to help my engineers to repair the Great Wall. All right, yeah, we're definitely in China. I'm guessing this is the Great Wall of China. All right, then let's go ahead and pick up all that stuff. Those are some pretty cool costumes. Not a zebra, though. I don't think we're gonna find a zebra in China. Let's ride a zoo. I'm one of the Emperor's engineers, and I'm on a special engineer's tea break, but you can lower the blo that block into place using a lever. I don't think it's very smart to recommend that non, you know, workers take over your job. <laughs> I think that'll leave you out of a job very quickly. It's like, oh, hey, I'm on a lunch break. Go ahead and mess with my dangerous equipment. I don't care. Watch out below. Well, at least he's courteous enough, or courteous enough to let me know about that. These beautiful royal lanterns give a lift to one spirit, hint, hint. What is down here then? Oh, this music is interesting. There's lyrics to it. I, I don't know what they're saying, but I don't want to take the moment to listen because I don't want YouTube to get mad at me, so we gotta wait for this. Hold on to it, oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, I got it. All right then, nope, bring me up, bring me up, no! Oh man, and I got cooked too. <laughs> it's not good. I don't cook the zebra tonight, that's not what I want. No, come on, bring me up, bring me up, bring me up. Nice, all right then. Ooh, I love the background for this one. The gigantic, it almost looks like a bonsai tree, but really, really big. I don't know if bonsai trees grow to be big at all. I think they stay small. All right then, let's see. We can get down here. Hmm. Oh, this is. Oh, cool. I like this. So we got a. It's it's like a crane game. A, a crane game. I'm really bad at. I was expecting this one to be left to right and that one to be up and down. Oh, weird. Like it actually moves this itself. Hmm. Ooh. All right then. So. Ooh, big jump. Hmm. And yeah, let's keep on going this way. Yep, and go ahead and get these as well. Construction side ahead, watch out for falling masonry. All right then, so let's go ahead and climb up the staircase. What are these, like, oh, they're Mahjong pieces. I think, I've never played Mahjong, so if that's not correct, then I'm sorry. But they're, they're, like at first I thought they were stereos, so I think that's a, it's a better step up. All right, ooh, come on. No, 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 why did that one disappear before the other one? <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense. Get back up there. Come on now, stripes, stripes everywhere all over me, which means I have to do this, because I'm super-tastic. I don't know what I'm talking about. Get that. All right, now big jump. <laughs> I don't even need that last one. All right, this next repair is tricky, so use the machinery and you'll turn it around in no time. All right, so pop down here, and this is weird. So there's gonna be, oh yeah, there's actually, there's little symbols here to find out which one is which. So we want it like that, and then we just need to wait, move it over to the left a little bit more, Tilt it to the left a little bit. Move it down. Actually, no. Oh, okay. Okay, game. It's it's hard to tell sometimes because the chains sort of bobble. There you go. Just right. So now I can go down. I like how there isn't a staircase. Instead, there's like these slidey scaffolding happening here. Oh, look at all this free stuff. How could you miss that? All right, good, good, good. Let's go ahead and go this way. And grab that stuff as well. All right, then let's go ahead and go up here. So I don't know how many people know this, but I figured I've been wanting to talk about it. How many people know about the game Dreams? If you guys don't know, Media Molecule is the guys who originally, guys and gals, I don't mean that as an, you know, specific, but um, okay. M Mr. Lava, please stop being so evil. But they made Little Big Planet 1 and 2. Well, 
they're working on a new game called Dreams, which is pretty similar in concept to Little Big Pun. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, why am I back here? Oh, come on. But um, it's pretty similar in concept to Little Big Planet in the way that you can create whatever you want. But imagine if it was like Little Big Planet, but like more. Not only can you. Well, where am I? I don't. I don't understand. This is confusing me. This is like Mega Man 2. All right, we should have enough time to make it to each platform. But you can use like the Move controller or even the PS4 controller to sculpt things out of thin air. And that's the thing. There's no like base. You know, like Little Big Planet as a base is a 2D platformer. But besides that, oh, I guess I gotta go this way? This is really weird, I have no idea where I'm going. But as a base, it's a 2D platform, and it always has that base, that's what you're always starting with. But in this, you have no base. It's very interesting, if you haven't seen any gameplay, I definitely go check it out. Like, I suggest go checking it out. There should be a beta sometime this year. Hopefully I get in the beta, and I'll probably show some stuff off. I think that would be really fun to do here on the channel, and I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Let's so go ahead. I just want more people to know about it. I want more people to be excited about it because I think it's gonna be a good game. I mean, there's nothing in the world that has shown me that Media Molecule will make a bad game so far, you know? I have a lot of faith in them being great. All right, so what is going on here? How are we gonna find everything in this? Right, let's first pick up all these points. Or that times four pointage. Multiplier and stuff. There you go, so let's, whoa, should I be hopping down here? Oh no, I shouldn't be. The Emperor is waiting at the top of the scaffolding. Watch out for the explosives on your way up. How about before I do that, I retry and we get back over here and I try to get that other stuff I might have missed out on. I love how it almost looks like ramen drawings in the background. Oh man, ramen could be really good. Let's go ahead and get that. And what's going on over here? Okay, just another extra little thing. All right then, so that's everything. I love how the level design is similar to what the level design would be in these respective areas in Little Big Planet 1. Like the Chinese levels in Little Big Planet 1 definitely had a lot of like the spinning things, they had a lot trickier platforming. Of course, I think this area is easier than the China area because in that game it was, whoa, much later in the game, you know? That's like the big difference. Looks like I'm missing stuff. Um, It's almost like a game of like Pachinko or something where you just don't really get to choose which area you sort of fall down, because I can't get up there in game. Why are you pointing up there? Well, what is this gonna do? Oh, is this, no, it's gonna open the door. Huh. I'm gonna go ahead and explode again. We're definitely not get. like, I mean, we already died the lava like eight times already. We're definitely not getting the ace, so. We can't get up there. And we can't get over there. Huh, this is really weird. I don't know how I get over to those spots. Maybe I need the jetpack. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong with all this. Maybe there's a jetpack down here. Well, now there's a lever over here. Ah, okay, well, I still got some things I missed before by, you know, dying and coming back, so I don't mind too much. All right, let's get up here. And then up here like that. And then, ooh, let's wait for this. <laughs> that exploded, I was expecting a little bit more collateral damage. I don't know how I'm getting that, though. Oh, I guess I gotta fall from the top, huh? All right, let's go ahead, do that. Fall, wait, wait, fall down here. And get back up, not too bad at all. I'm glad we're able to get everything then. Like, I don't think we've missed too much yet. Like, I don't think we've missed any items, which is good. Ooh, yes, okay. <laughs> that's good as well. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the right before I go over to the left, just like that, and that's everything I could find, so I think that's gonna be good. And then what's over this? Ooh, the arcway. I, I, oh, okay, for dragon! I was waiting for the bridge to break, and it did break. Ah, oh, that dragon's back. What is its problem? Quickly, make your escape. Are we escaping from it or attacking it? I don't even know. We're out of here for now. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good impression. That was a first good level, like a good first level for the area. Oh, that was a lot of cool stuff there. All right then, so we did unlock a little mini game there, Double Dragons by Empresario. We won't be worrying about that now, but for right now, we'll be going ahead into Dragon on a Bite by Empresario. Let's go ahead and head into this one. All righty then. Hello, Emperor. This is my anti-dragon firework launcher. Once you've got the grips with it, you'll be ready to, for the mobile version. Oh, oh wow, it's like a cannon. Oh, that's cool, I like that, and we're trying to hit the bullseye. That is cool. I don't think there was too many things like that in the original Little Big Planet. All right, then quick hop on before that dragon gives us a roasting. How about, instead of quickly hopping on it, I take a second to get a bunch of cool stuff, and now I get, wee! <laughs> Look at this dude, Rado's legs are spinning like Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, I, I bet, He's running so fast, I'm pretty sure he could scamper up walls. Ooh, ooh, I'm hitting his, oh, this is like a boss fight, I love this. Okay, hold on, boom. Oh, not quite, almost, maybe. 
A little bit, a little bit. Oh no, I should I should join some type of league. That's how good I am at this. Oh, I should become a pro. Oh, I got him. No, nope, I died. <laughs> that was a little odd. Okay, let's let's practice here a little bit. All the shooting is blocks. I love that. It's not shooting TNT or anything. Probably because the game would lag too much if it did. Oh my gosh, I love that. All right, then let's wait for the dragon. And then, boom. So if we don't hit him, the dragon will start to speed up. Oh, there you go, the two for one. Oh, that was a good one. So we gotta really hurry it up here. We're definitely making a lead now. Ooh, oh, what, that didn't count? All right then. Here, I, I have your lunch. I'll even feed it to you, buddy. Ready? Oh, it's definitely easier to hit it right after you land on the ledge like that. Like, or you land off the like little, whoa, okay, okay. Oh, it's getting all nice and green, I like it. Reminds me of like, what area ones are usually supposed to be in Little Big Planet games. Whoa, no, no, oh, dang it, he got me again. This is tough. I mean, if I tap it a lot, statistics would be on my side, right? Statistically speaking, if I'm constantly just sort of spamming it like I am, I feel like I'd have a decent chance of hitting it at least enough times to keep him away. I mean, he really starts speeding up at this point. This guy's running though. Like, I don't know like who this guy is, but he's fit. Like, he shouldn't be working such a menial job. He should be like at the Olympics, professional athlete and everything. Phew, rickshaw rates are double when being chased. If I wasn't so tired, I'd make you pay clear off. I'm sorry, man, if I had any money, I'd pay you, but I don't see it. Take it as a favor for the emperor. All right, oh boy, here he comes, he's mad now. He's like, I just had to eat a really big lunch and I'm still hungry for sack boy. That's that's weird. Okay, come on. No, 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 no! Oh, he got me. I am now dragon lunch. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Now I can do it much faster though because I got the item I wanted. So I can just. Oh, I can just. I just. I can just go. See you, dude. You're a little too slow for me. Maybe you should take lessons from the Sonic the Hedgehog guy back there. Ooh. I'm sure he can make plenty of money that way if he could teach other people how to run faster. Man, that could be a good business idea. Oh wait, wait, wait. What if I hide here? Is this gonna work? No, that, that, the, that, that didn't really plan out, now did it? All right, so let's try to do this again. I'm gonna try to jump like that. That should give me, nope, if I do it right, it will. Ooh, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, let's go this way. Whoa, <laughs> that's ice. Hey, they do have the ice material in this game. Oh no, I missed stuff. Here, we can get those. Ooh, yeah, retry just like that. Pop back up here, and we just gotta jump at the right time. Whoa! Dang it. I feel like I remember this part of this level. Like, there's not too much to this game that sticks out of my memory, but this part, for whatever reason, does. Oh, I got it that time. Oh, there's the key, nice. I'm glad I did that then. Dedicated the time, and I got a prize. I'm glad that we're getting the mini games pretty easily so far. Oh, Mahjong, oh no, stop! I will say, lay waste to this land unless my son is returned to me. He's an only, an, he's only an egg. I can't speak, because I'm so flustered about the egg, but he'll hatch soon. I think the emperor took him. Can you rescue my egg? Um, sure, dude. Oh no, I thought, for a second there, I thought we were playing, you know, like a little big pawn game where I could press triangle to ride him, but not quite. All right then, so there's that level done. That was sort of a turn of events, more storytelling than I was expecting, you know, cool. Oh, that's a cool hat, I like that one. All right then, so our next level in the next episode of Little Big Planet PSP will be Extraction by Emperor Sorry. I'm loving the puns, that's pretty good. And that'll be a lot of fun. I mean, that was a very interesting turn of events. Usually, you know, it's not that, I don't know, I guess, Storytelling in Little Big Pun is usually just, hey, go do the thing. But now it's just like, hey, go do the thing. No, wait, don't do the thing. You were doing it for the wrong guy. You gotta do it for the right guy now. I can only hope. I'm guessing it's gonna be the typical, oh, it was a big misunderstanding. I just, I left them at the nest. Who would have thought? I guess we'll find out by the end of the, uh, at the end of the next episode, most likely. Unless there's five levels instead of four. But we'll find out then. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Little Big Planet PSP. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Dragon Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.